Hello again, thanks for joining us on our next video where we're going to have a look at the filling mechanism that comes fitted to the new Twisby Swipe fountain pen model. Um, this one is from our shop, so it's one of the uh, one of the models that comes with an inbuilt spring-loaded um, converter which you can take out and put an ink cartridge in in its place. Um, a couple of people have pointed out in the comments that the North American models come with two converters, so a standard um, piston converter and then also this spring-loaded one so if you're outside of North America or you buy from a shop outside of North America it will come with an international standard type fitting ink cartridge as you can see on our other video and this spring-loaded converter but no more the ink cartridge will ink cartridges will be available separately and so will the um, the converters we haven't actually got any at the moment because we only got the pens in our first batch the Prussian blues were really popular and they went first and we only have a handful of the smoke left um, we've got more on order so they're expected quite soon. You can sign up to be notified when stock arrives with us by visiting our website, <clears throat> going on to the specific colour nib width product that you're looking for and then uh, inputting your email address and you'll be automatically emailed as soon as we have a delivery. Sorry, I've just dropped the barrel there. As soon as we have a delivery you'll be notified by email um, that they're in stock again so you can you can top up. So if you haven't watched the other video, this is this is how this works. Quite simple. There's a spring inside which acts as the, um, I guess the mechanism because there's all you all you need to do is push that in, let go, and it will fill up the internal barrel there. This is removable. Simple as that. It's just a, a friction fit. Um, it won't fit into most other international standard. Um, fountain pens because this the diameter of this is um, it's just too broad but it fits into this model which is all we need to look at in this video so I've got a jug of water <clears throat> which has just been colored with a a drop of our Chartist Westgate hotel blue ink just so that it's a little bit easier to see on video um, so I'm just going to show you first how this fills up and then we'll do an um, ink capacity comparison with the other models so simple as just push that down Submerge the nib in the uh, the ink or water, and then let go. A little bit close up there, isn't it? But you can see that on the first draw there, it's taken in um, quite a good amount of ink. So what I'm going to do now is just push the ink back out and refill it up a few times because um, on the first fill you're taking in a bit of air because this um, ink feed will have air in it when it's new or when the pen is pretty much empty of ink. So uh, we'll do that now and we'll get this nice and full and then we'll compare with the other models. So I've done a few more draws using this spring-loaded converter and uh, as you can see there from the slight tinting of the uh, watery ink that it is pretty much full. So what I'm going to do now is empty this back into one of our little ink sample tubes uh, I'm going to repeat that process then for a few other Twisby models that I've got here just out of shot, including um, an Eco, a Go, which has a spring-loaded mechanism uh, built into it. I've got uh, a VAC 700R. <clears throat> I've got a, a 580 AL and also a 580, oh sorry, I beg your pardon, a, a Diamond Mini. So uh, we're going to compare all of those ink capacities. So there we go, they are all filled and I'm going to expel the ink back into these little test tubes and we'll see how much ink we can fit in them. So like I said, this is not too scientific, but I have I've expelled the ink out of this Eco and although there's a little bit left in there, you know, what I've done here is pushed it out so that no more is coming out, dabbed the nib against the side so we're getting... Um, we're getting the ink out of the pen without trying too hard, I guess. So now we're on the last one, which is the new swipe. So we're going to see how this compares to the other models. It's quite interesting, actually, from this angle, seeing um, probably what I expected, actually. Let's see what this new one's like.
So I'm going to compare these and I'm going to make some notes uh, on this Rodia um, click block um, mouse pad. It's quite clever actually. So um, here's the mouse for my computer and you use this as a mouse mat. Um, but you can also make notes on it and then the pieces of paper then peel off on the edges um, to start a new page. So it's like a, like a giant post-it note pad I guess. Um, and I'm also going to feature this because this is one of the new Retro 51 uh, ball pens or roll ball pens that we stock uh, that we've only had in for the last week or so so I'm using this to make my notes that's just a cameo from a different model it's not particularly scientific but uh, actually it's quite interesting and um, fun to do nonetheless so I've made some notes here by hand of um, what I'm seeing the capacity as being, if I sort of line it up with these lines on the side that give a give an incremental um, measurement. Um, so I've got the the one with the biggest capacity. Maybe I'll do it that way. The one with the biggest capacity is the Vac 700R, um, which is probably not that not that surprising. Um, so there's the Vac 700R test tube or transport tube uh, but then actually the Diamond 580 is pretty much exactly the same amount maybe a smidge smaller but not really enough with these incremental lines to to notice that much difference uh, I would say then followed actually by the Eco the Eco again only a little bit less um, I'm I'm saying about 1.9 milliliters in the VAC and the Diamond and then 1.85 in the Eco after that then it's the swipe so the new swipe we've got it here about 1.4 milliliters uh, and then down from that then we've got the go the original spring-loaded one at the back here which um, this had a bit of other colored ink in it which is why this looks a different color I've got about 1.1 milliliters there and then finally the mini which again is probably not that surprising as it's the, the smallest one that's about one milliliters. So there is the odd little bit left in the pen, as maybe you can see on this um, on this Diamond 580, um, Prussian blue. But what I've done is expelled out all the ink that will come out. So there's going to be a bit in the feed as well that um, that I have been able to expel out, and it was the odd little drop on the desk. So I hope that was useful and interesting. See you again soon. Take care. Bye bye.